Good morning, my beautiful internet friends, and welcome back. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, I was down at my desk working and I just felt so compressed and stuck and like I just needed to do something. So I thought I would come upstairs, put my yoga mat down and do like a five or 10 minute just movement. Uh, I'm missing a leg, so this is gonna be sort of a really, really basic yoga slash stretching slash we're gonna do a few push-ups in here. Sort of just get our bodies moving for a few minutes. So if you wanna join in, come along with me. Now I will note, I am not a professional. I've not been trained in this. I have done yoga for a few years prior to losing my leg. So I'm just kind of figuring out what it looks like now without a leg. So uh, none of this is, is medically recommended. If you have any questions, talk to a professional or your doctor, but this is just what I'm doing to entertain myself, to stretch my own body out. And if you wanna join in, come along with me. Please note, even if you have two legs, you can definitely do this along with me. It's not uh, amputee specific. It's just a really basic movement warm up. So join in if you feel like it. Start by laying out your yoga mat and hopping or walking over depending on how many limbs you have. We're gonna start in a tabletop position and stretch out our backs and our necks. So we're gonna do that by cat and cow. That is accomplished by breathing in as I arch my back down and breathe out as I push up. So it looks just like this. If you wanna follow along, we're gonna breathe in, come down, arch your back down, try to keep your shoulders away from your ears, and then breathe out and push up into that arch. We're gonna do this just one more time, breathing in and breathing out. Good job. And then put one arm up to the sky, thread it underneath your body, like this, this is gonna stretch out your back in a lovely way. Go ahead and hold it here for a couple deep breaths. And then we're gonna go ahead and push up and do the same thing on the other side. So reach the opposite hand up, thread it underneath your body and breathe into that stretch. Once that feels good, we're gonna come back up and lean back into child's pose. Keep your arms flat on the ground. You can kind of push down into them. That helps stretch a little bit deeper. Now we're gonna come up to our toes and our hands and go ahead and lower yourself down. If you can, get up on your back feet and arch your back up. Try to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Come back down and push up into downward facing dog as the yogis call it. We're gonna go ahead and do this whole sequence one more time. So bend down, arch up, flip down to downward facing dog. Breathe in deep and we're gonna do this one last time. So breathe in as you are pushing up and then breathe out when you push back down to downward facing dog. We're gonna transition to get our heart moving a little bit. So I'm going to curl my knee into my chest and then push it back five times on each side. Now switch legs and five on the other side as well. From here, we're going to come back down and do five push-ups. Feel free to do these from your knees or from your toes. Three, two, and one. We're gonna go ahead and repeat this whole thing. So come back to your hands and knees and knee into your chest and back five times on each side. switch sides. This strengthens your core muscles and your butt muscles. That's always nice. Now we're going to come back to child's pose and just breathe deeply into that. I always get a really good stretch out of my back there. Now we're going to transition to a sitting position, but before we do that, rock back and forth. If you are on a comfortable surface, this helps to loosen up and warm up our backs. As I come up, I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch forward, reach for my toes, there's no need to touch them. Just a quick little stretch, we'll return to this and we are going to start on some crunches. 
there are lots of different ways to achieve this. I like to keep my legs in the air as that makes it a little more challenging, but feel free to keep your feet on the ground if that is better for you. Once we've completed 10 brunches, we are going to do leg lifts. Mine are a little bit easier considering I'm missing about five pounds off of one leg, but whatever, I'm still gonna call this a workout. This we're also gonna do 10 times. Two and one. We're gonna keep up with the ab workout here and twist side to side. This has been called a bicycle exercise. I'm not sure what to call it, but it looks like this. It works your abdominal muscles and your obliques, which are your side muscles. So we're gonna switch back and forth 10 times while attempting to breathe still, which I am struggling with in this video. Almost there. Now we're gonna flip onto our stomachs and work our back muscles a little bit. So what you're gonna do is keep everything flat on the ground and then lift it up as you breathe out and hold it for a second. So your toes are gonna come off the ground just a tiny little bit, your hands are gonna come off the ground just a little bit, and you're gonna hold for like a breath. Release that one more time. So hold everything up. Make sure you keep your head facing the ground so you don't hurt your neck. And release, good job. Now we're gonna come back to child's pose. It's a good place to breathe for a second and relax. And then come back to your knees for five more push-ups, because I love push-ups. And they're good for you. from here we're going to rotate our legs out to the side like so this helps with hip muscles this is definitely something that helps me as I'm trying to strengthen my legs getting ready for hopefully one day a prosthetic leg so we're just gonna do that five times on each side now since we worked those muscles we're gonna go ahead and stretch out your legs and your back so breathing out just bring yourself forward like I said before, if you can touch your toes, great. If you can't, great. There's no uh, accomplishment or achievement here. It's what your body can handle and what feels good to you. So just breathe normally as you come forward and hold that stretch. We're gonna go ahead and release and switch to sides. So bring one leg in as you stretch the other one out and reach over, you know, your foot if you have a foot or do it like this if you don't have one. Try to breathe into the stretch, focus on the way it feels and then turn so you are now facing over your leg and stretching more of your back muscles. We're gonna hold it here for a few seconds, breathe in deep Exhale as you push up and switch sides. So start by touching your toes if you have them and going over to one side so you're stretching your side muscles. Breathe deeply and when you're ready, go ahead and turn so that you are now facing over your leg and stretching more of your back muscles. That pretty much concludes our little mini workout stretch yoga session here, but we wanna finish with the most important part, which is to lay flat on your back. Before we come to rest here, go ahead and stretch up. That always feels good. Now place your palms at your side facing up. Relax your legs, relax every part of your body. And this is called Chabasana, where we just try to focus on relaxing and letting go. Stay here as long as you want, but I'm going to conclude the video here. I don't know about you guys, but I feel a little bit better now. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. A huge shout out goes to all of my patrons who make this channel possible. And uh, thanks for being cool with me doing a little bit of an out of the box video today, guys. Let me know if this helped you guys. I love you. I'm thinking about you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Hand her from the sky.